Ed Sheeran is opening up about one of his more recent career disappointments where he had a dream job offered and then taken away. During an appearance on that Peter Crouch podcast, the pop star revealed he had been tapped to write and perform the theme song for Daniel Craig's latest James Bond film, No Time to Die, when he was abruptly replaced by Billie Eilish. I'm not gonna pretend it didn't hurt not doing it, the singer admitted to Crouch. The opportunity first came about in 2017 when Sheeran met with Bond producer Barbara Broccoli, who had expressed interest in having him compose and perform a Bond theme song, according to Rolling Stone. While eagerly writing the theme, Sheeran was told by his manager Stuart Camp that music is often the last thing done for a film. But between COVID-19 production delays and the process of doing music at the end of the creative process, it ended up leaving the door open for another artist to slip in. It turns out during that lapse of time, Danny Boyle, who had worked with Sheeran on the romantic comedy film Yesterday, 2019, dropped out as director of No Time to Die due to creative differences and replaced by Kerry Joji Fukunaga. Ultimately, the No Time to Die theme ended up going to Billie Eilish, who went on to have huge success with her version of the song. When asked whether he had ever done a Bond song yet by Crouch, Sheeran flashed a big broad smile and admitted, I was within a effing Nat's cube of doing one, with a tinge of heartbreak to his voice. But then they changed directors, changed scripts and that was it. The Halifax, West Yorkshire, England native, 31, explained, before adding, we'd done all the meetings, I had started writing it. Despite the heartbreak of losing out on the opportunity to join the long list of top-notch musical artists to write and perform a Bond theme song, Sheeran made it clear he's still holding out hope he will be able to get another chance. But yay, if they came back I would be like yay, of course, yeah, he said when asked if it was still something Hess liked to do. Along with Ailes' No Time to Die, the rich and varied history of James Bond title theme songs over the years includes the likes of Paul McCartney and Wings, Live and Let Die, 1973. Chris Cornell, You Know My Name, 2006, Tina Turner, Goldeneye, 1995, Tina Turner, Goldeneye, 1995, Duran Duran, A View to a Kill, 1985, Nancy Sinatra, You Only Live Twice, 1967, and Madonna, Die Another Day, 2002. Some of the other artists are Alicia Keys and Jack White, Another Way to Die, 2008, Sheena Easton, For Your Eyes Only, 1981, Gladys Knight, License to Kill, 1989, Carly Simon, Nobody Does It Better, 1977, Sheryl Crow, Tomorrow Never Dies, 1997, and Shirley Bassey, Diamonds Are Forever, 1971, among others. Considering the success Eilish had with No Time to Die, some would argue the decision to change from Sheeran to the then teenage pop star was a good and profitable one. Ailes' song debuted at the top of the UK Singles Chart and the Irish Singles Chart, while it peaked at number 16 on the US Billboard Hot 100. Plus, it became Ailes' first number one single in the UK and made her the first artist born in the 21st century to top the chart. The song is also only the second Bond theme to have ever topped the UK chart. Eventually, the song, which Eilish co-wrote with her brother and collaborator Phineas O'Connell, won numerous accolades, including the Grammy Award for Best Song Written for Visual Media and the Academy Award for Best Original Song.